One of the best ways to observe moths, whether for scientific collecting, photography, or just personal enjoyment, is to use lights. In this video, I'll show you how to use a sheet and light combo to attract moths and other nocturnal insects. Weather conditions are an important thing to consider when setting up a sheet. In my experience, the most productive nights tend to be warm, humid, cloudy, and calm. Location is also vital. Habitats within an abundance of native plants often sustain high levels of diversity. Edges, such as the edges of forests or fields, also tend to be productive because you get the best of both worlds. Unless you want a ton of aquatic insects like caddisflies, it's best to avoid setting up a sheet near bodies of water like rivers and lakes. Once I've found a good place to set up my sheet, I choose two medium-sized trees about 15 or 20 feet apart. I'll tie a thin rope to one tree just above head height. Next, I'll run the rope over to the other tree, wrapping it tightly around two or three times, and pulling it to make sure the rope is as taut as possible. I then run the rope back over to the first tree and tie it off. This second line should be slightly lower than the first line. I like to use a trucker's hitch because it's easy to tighten and untie, but any knot will work. I now have two lines running between the two trees. On the higher of the two, I use safety pins to pin a white cotton bed sheet to the rope. On the lower line, I'll attach a mercury vapor light. It's best to keep the sheet taut so moths have a firm surface to land on. If it's windy, you can use stakes, rocks, or logs to keep the sheet from blowing around. At this location, I use two cinder blocks. I'll use an extension cord to plug the light in, but batteries also work if you're in a remote location. Now all that's left to do is wait. I should mention that the setup I've explained here is just my personal way of setting up a sheet. Everyone has different preferences, and after some trial and error, you may come up with a setup that works better for you. In this video, I used a mercury vapor light. Other lights, such as UV lights, also work. Each light has pros and cons to it, and I'd encourage you to find one that works best for you.